Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. And you guys might know what this is. It's a giant box, and here's a hint at what's in it. But it's not just giant this way. Look at how big this box is. This is all Funcon Pops. This is 20 pounds of Funcon Pops. And we're going to open it and check out some condition. Because the box is a little bit banged up. But for its size, it's not too bad. Yeah. And we're going to see what we got in here. Stay tuned. If you are new here... If you're new here, we love to open mystery boxes. Specifically, Funko Pop mystery boxes, but a little bit of other stuff here and there. Yeah. We also like to show off different pickups that we get and check out new and interesting things that Funko is doing, such as their NFTs. And on our journey here, the big next step is 4,000 subscribers. Yep. And if you guys want to help us out, get to 4,000 subscribers, then just hit the subscribe button below. And we're trying to help you guys out by giving away these Funko Pops as we hit different milestones. And I believe the next milestone is 3,700 subscribers. We're close. And I believe it's Tony the Tiger at that point. I think so, but I can't be positive. Yeah, and then 38 and 3,900 subscribers, we're going to give away these two. And then at 4,000 subscribers, we're going to give away one of these two. And if we get there by the end of August, which is a tall order, we're going to add this in the choices of what we're going to be giving away for 4,000 subscribers. So help us out. And also, if you want to help us out, boop the like button. And that'll help us get out into the YouTube sphere. And if you're not new here, and you want to support the channel even more than the like button, which is all we really ask for, mm -hmm. then you can go check out our link over on Patreon and support us there. And one of the things that we do for Patreon is these pops. These pops are going to be the giveaways for our Patreon. We do a monthly giveaway on Patreon, mm -hmm. and we usually make it pretty good. This month, we're trying to spread out the winners to get more winners. Usually, we have one big win and then a secondary win. But this time, we wanted a bunch of, like, middle line wins. This is pretty good one. Captain America here with Mjolnir is an awesome one. I like that one. And if you want to support us on Patreon, another thing that we do is monthly lives as well as Patron of the Day where we give you guys a shout out. And today's Patron of the Day is Poppin' Pops. And we were just watching a Poppin' Pops video. And what do you have, Lindsay? Banana Chomp! He had Banana Chomp. We love Chomp after our own hearts. Obviously, we do love Banana Chomp. He's made into our top six over there. He has. He has. What a great chomp. So what we're going to do is put a link to Poppin' Pop's YouTube channel in the description below, and you guys can go check him out and show him some support as well. Now, we're not going to delay too much with this box because there's a lot of pops to go through because we spent how much, Lindsay? $600. $600 on this drop. And as you can tell, with all these different giveaways, either on Patreon or just on the channel, we do a lot of giveaways. We do, yeah. And the last two cons, maybe even three, we've given away a fair number of pops out of those. We have. So let's see in the future what we're going to do with these. Also, as promised in a recent video, we did add our Freddy Funko sticker <laughs> to the S-Box, a.k.a. the Funko delivery system. Yep. This is such a huge box that it barely fits on our little bench back here. But we are going to start getting into it. We have no idea what the order is. But we did order a bunch of stuff. They had some things that were not available. What were those, Lindsay? Fat gum, Orca, and at least one of the show exclusives. And, ooh, Kaboom. Yeah, Kaboom as well, which I really wanted. And yeah. I don't think anybody else in the world even knew what Kaboom cereal was. Yeah. Um, but they are doing an option in September for the lottery winners to go get those as well. Mm -hmm. Which means our choices were limited. And because I ordered so many, right? Because I like to see how much I can get. And a lot of times we do those giveaways for a lot of people that weren't able to get it anyway. Yeah. So what I did is I just went through and added everything. And what this did for me, negative effect, is it slowed me down. And then I went to buy everything. And when I went to buy everything, then it had to update, right? And I put all my information in and I updated it. And it said, hey, um, this thing sold out. And I was like, okay. And I had to put my information in again. And then it was like, okay this thing sold out and it kept making me re-enter everything it was like five times which really frustrated me yeah. i'd rather it just like i buy it and afterwards it says all right here's the things you didn't get because each time it slowed me down more things sold mm -hmm. out so that's just one of the things lessons learned 
We've never faced that before. We've actually been quick enough to get whatever we wanted. Yeah. Um, but let's get into this because we did get a good amount of stuff. That's right. They always put everything in separate boxes. We've got so many boxes in here. It looks okay. like everything is pretty well packaged up. All right, so we just thought, hey, why not take all the boxes out? That really helps out. We've totally forgotten that's how they do it. Uh, we have one that shows that it might be pretty good damage. We have a soda and... Maybe a two-pack here? I yeah. don't know. I don't think we even ordered a two-pack. I have no idea. That was the ones we didn't get. We didn't get the Russo Brothers. Yep. We didn't get the Blacklight. Yeah. Alsa, uh, the Rabbit. Hopefully, Funko throw a random extra thing. That would be cool. Because they have been shorting some people some things, so maybe they added one to ours. Um, just to get these out of the way, and we'll check for soda chases later. We did get... Oh, it's the Thor! Nice! 15,000 piece. So secondary market, this should not be too expensive. Yep. We did get the summer convention sticker. Um, oh yeah, by the way, that's all we got, this little guy. We found him at Box Lunch. He's so adorable, he's got the little... the little squirrel, and he was worth taking out of box. So I wanted to buy one for in-person out of box. Mm -hmm. And then we have one in here. That should be a con sticker, and that's Shall I how. Open this. And that's how that works. The con sticker. How's the con sticker work, Lindsay? So everything that's available on the Funko web is 50/50 con sticker, and then everything that is available for shared exclusives, that you will get a con sticker if you win the lottery. Yeah. So if you win the lottery, you get the virtual con stickers. Mm -hmm. And like Lindsay said, it's a 50% 50% chance. I don't even know if that's true because we rarely get the stickers from the Funko Shop ones. Yeah. But we'll see what we get. And we've done the other way too, where we ordered on the public day, like when we got Kim Pine and Idri, and we got one non-con sticker and one con sticker. So that yep. worked out for us. Uh, let's find out what the damaged one is. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, okay. It is Martian Manhunter. It is honestly not super damaged. Yeah, I don't see really... The top has a little crease on it, but... Yeah, a little bit of a crease right here across the top. Very hard to see, but we can see it in person. But this is really cool. It's the red box. It's the Imperial look. Yep. And that is a really nice looking pop. Yeah, that looks we good. We got Joker over here behind me. The red box really does stand out. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's see what this is, because I don't know. Remember last time, Kronk and Yzma came in together. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. And that is the Summer Convention Shared Sticker. Very nice. So Summer Convention Shared Sticker there, Danger Mouse. I love the look of this. I think we got to get the matching soda now. Oh, okay, okay. And... Stargirl! Stargirl. And they did a good job at getting the correct sticker on this. This is a 5,000 piece. And these are actually not doing too bad on the secondary market. Interesting. They're not crazy, but they're also doing better than I thought. Considering they were there for the second day. Yeah, it's folded up the yeah, top Yeah, it's weird. folded weird. All right, let's start with this box, just for fun. Just for funsies. Wow. Oh. Falcon. Falcon sticker's coming off a little bit. Oh, no. This also video serves as our, we actually got it from the Funcon, and these are the real stickers. Yep the virtual Funcon sticker, so that's pretty cool. And I believe that is the first non, like 5,000 piece sticker that we got. And it is a little messed up. But Falcon, his new show was awesome. The look is awesome. The red wings, the red mask, it looks really good. Like the red and yellow mask. And I don't remember ordering this many. I know we ordered a lot, I but like this is a ordered. lot of boxes. All right, Cobra Bat. I, oh, virtual Funcon sticker. Yeah, and this is really cool. The insides of him are like gears. Oh. And I don't remember this guy from the TV series at all. I remember the He-Man character that was like that with the gears inside him. And the Rick and Morty character. Oh. That one's got a boo-boo on it. Oh no. Yeah. Where's it at? Look at her face that's creased because it was right here. Oh. And this edge of the box got... Oh, wow, yeah. Pretty beat up. So, you guys can see that crease line on the... by our face on the cardboard yeah. part. Yeah. But this one, yeah, this one's heavy, heavy. Yeah, it is. But that's a cool one. That's one that we did not pick up from Box Lunch because we knew we had one coming, but maybe yeah. we should have. Yeah, I guess so. 
Okay, this oh, is for okay. my Star Wars fans out there. I really like the box on this. Yeah. Look how pretty it looks. This is Ray, and this is the yeah the sun setting. Really beautiful look on that. And that's her at the very beginning of the series. Oh my gosh. Toki Doki. So all of these are really cute. They're so cute. There is a show one. We will be trying to get that when mm -hmm. the September drop comes. Yep. This one is really cute. I love the zipped up like pajama look. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We have Oh, we got another two Star, Star Girl. Girls. Uh, I don't think we ordered two Star Girls. So there is our extra pop that we got. Yep. So that one is pretty cool. That's a good one to get a double of. I'll have to I have to say that. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm 99% sure he did not buy cuz I don't think you, you even can I don't think buy you two can. Money. I think you got to get one of everything. Yep. Not as cool nice. as the black light. Maybe in here somewhere is a black light. You never know. Secondly, what is this? Because this is not a Funko Pop box. Is that that? It's Captain America. I think there's styrofoam around it. And that, I think, it seemed pretty heavy, so... This is pretty heavy. This feels like a like a soda box, like a pack of six. That would be cool if they just messed oh, up. That would be awesome. No, but I do want... Oh, yeah, it does have styrofoam. I think, I think it is. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, wow. They went all out with this. So this was a $50 Funko Pop. And yeah. it's the most expensive that I know Funko Pop's ever done. And the reason is because this is their first die cast Funko Pop. And I almost don't want to open it because it's so cool. I, as soon as I saw they were doing a first of something, I said, I'm going to get that. Yep. Because I love first of stuff, right? I don't know why, even if it's dumb, which this one is not dumb. I have a bunch of die cast cars and I think this is just going to go along with awesome, awesome stuff. Hopefully no one gets mad about opening that. I don't care. First off, the box is awesome. We do have a summer convention sticker on it. Okay. We'll show it off here. I. That's so cool. I don't know what to do with this because it's sealed, but We're it's so, so awesome looking. We're so conflicted on this. He has been for days. He's like, I don't know if I want to open it or not. I really I mean, want to open it, but I don't want to open it. Look at like the metallic look on the side. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. How heavy is it? I, it's heavy. Does oh, it open? Yeah. Does the box open from the side? I think it slides off the oh, top. Oh, okay. I think we might just have to open it. I don't know when. I'm not gonna make the decision now because these are going on eBay for like 100 to $150. And the crazy thing about that is this was sitting on the site for a while. It was. It does still say like coming soon, like Pietro does. I don't know if they're going to be reselling it, but I can tell you right now, I would get another one of these, 100%. Oh, yeah. I think these are so cool. We're going to put this right back in that styrofoam because, I mean, you can tell it's a keeper when it comes in this, like, custom-made styrofoam thing. Yeah, how cool. And you know what? Like, we can keep it in there and keep it safe, and I like that. All right, so that was that mystery. But it looks like Let's... we have... A bunch more. Yeah, we have two more, or four more boxes here, so. We might have to move these out of the way. Yeah, we might have to. And speaking of Captain America, this is Cap Wolf, which I think is awesome. This I, is a really cool one. I think it was a mischance at a really cool flocked Cap Wolf, and a lot of people have been saying that. Yeah. But it looks really cool. I've never seen anything like it. That's awesome. And over on my side, if I can get one out. They are hard to get out, because they are just packed in there. Oh, this is the one, uh, and this does have a little, this has a big bend in the back. Ah. Uh, but this is the Mongo, and I'm pretty sure it was Last Ketchum that was pointing out the outfit is all little skulls, and I think that's so cool. That is really cool. And the blue and black combo looks amazing. It does suck that the back is all messed up. Yeah. You uh. win some, you lose some. Oh, Leslie! Filibuster Leslie. I, as soon as I saw this picture drop, like on Instagram, I was like, it's Filibuster Leslie. She didn't even have to see the name on it. No, she I just didn't. knows. I knew exactly what it was. Lindsay is a huge Parks and Rec fan. If you can't tell from the Parks and Rec right behind her on the side. Yeah. But Leslie Nope, anything that they put out with her, we're going to get. I love Leslie Nope. And we saw this. It was hard to pass up. We saw it in the store, the shared sticker, and we had to pass it up because we knew it was coming in the mail. Mm -hmm. Secondly, how did Demongo get messed up because. It's in this six pack That's and weird. it was one of the middle ones. 
Oh, oh, I loved Sandy. That one's really cute. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Toy Tokyo, you're not going to get the Toy Tokyo, or you're not going to get the Funkon sticker. All of them have the Toy Tokyo sticker. Interesting. Okay. But it looks really cool. I like the Toy Tokyo I do. stickers. I do too. Uh, Sandy is really cute here. Oh, it has a little heart and crossbones. Aww. I'll show that off again. Like a necklace style, heart and crossbones. You can see it in the big picture. That's really cool. That's awesome. Oh, oh look at his little tiny baby sticker. Drummer McNugget. Oh my gosh, that is a really baby sticker. That's so cute though. So John McNugget, that'll go with our Smy Kids. Smy Kids! And our other McDonald's Pops that we have over there because I worked at McDonald's recently and that's one thing I really like. Oh, there's poop on the back of the box. Oh no. But maybe the baby we, sticker. Maybe we get that cleaned off. All right, next up. Oh, this one is one of the oh. best. This is Xanathar, and this comes with a 20-sided die. I'm pretty sure that's what D20 is. And this is from Dungeons & Dragons. If you remember a few cons ago, they had the... Gelatinous Cube. Gelatinous Cube, yeah. And it was an awesome one. I passed it up, and now it's worth a pretty good amount of money. But this is probably one of the most famous, like, every time I think of Dungeons & Dragons, so I don't know a lot of, but I think of this picture, like this guy. Very cool looking. Mickey Mouse! To go with our Donald that we got from the last con. When we were making our decision of what pops to buy before I just added them all to the cart, Mickey Mouse was definitely on top because we have Donald standing by. Yep. And they're super adorable. And another Disney oh. one, this. And we got the summer convention one. This is Walrus and the Carpenter. And I can't remember which ones were the Funko Web ones and I which ones remember. were not. We're gonna have to go back and see which ones got the Funkon sticker and which ones got Summer Convention sticker. That's a heavy guy. Oh yeah. That stroke, he got messed up though. Oh, come on. Yeah, look at the back of him. Oh yeah, all the ones that I'm like, this one's really cool. Yeah, they, I don't, I don't know. These had to have been messed up like prior to putting them in the boxes because the boxes are perfect. I didn't even realize that Mickey has a hole on the top of his. See by the top wow. of the exclamation point, there's a hole on the top of the box. How did, like how did, there's no hole in the box. So that's funny. But Deathstroke looks amazing. That I'm, is a really cool pop. I really wanted this one. I am sad that it's really damaged, like, like both up and down crease. Okay, for me, my Harry Potter fans out there. Hey! This one is really cool because it's Harry Potter on the broom and he's reaching out with the little key there. That's I think that's so really cute. cool. It's possibly not my favorite Harry Potter in a broom. There was one from a couple kinds ago that looks really cool. We had that one for a little while. My last one in the box. Nice. White Lantern. So this is Sinestro from the Green Lantern and we just got the three pack Green Lantern. We did. Uh, this one's a really cool. I was really confused because I only have five pops over here and then I realized that you took Deathstroke. <laughs> I took Deathstroke. I literally like him. All right. I think the last pop for my Star Wars fans. This one is awesome. That is really cool. Imperial Super Commando. The look on it is, is terrifying. I really like this. <laughs> and I don't know which, uh, I think this was a shared exclusive one. So we got the virtual Funkon sticker. And this one got damaged on the bottom. Man, we are just not having luck with this con. Yeah, this one is a, a pretty damaged con. Yeah. All right, so that's two more boxes. However, we did get an extra pop out of it. We did. Really hoping somewhere in these two blast boxes is the black light rabbit. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, my first one is from He-Man, Master Universe. Oh! And this is Roboto. This has a Toy Tokyo sticker. Very awesome. And this is the gear guy. I remember having him as a toy as a kid. This is the gear guy I was talking about when we had the Cobra up here. Uh, this guy is actually in the new series as well, the Kevin Smith series. Okay. And this box looks pretty good. Good, good, good. All right, Lindsay, what do you got? Oh, this Nubia. Is Nubia. And this is from the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary series. I'm pretty sure that's what this was called. Uh, I love the little helmets. I think it's so funny with the helmets because they're big heads, so none of their Small helmets fit. Helmets. First time I saw that was the, the toucan. Yeah. With the space helmet. Yep, from the SDCC. Yep. Next one we got here is, oh, this one's an awesome Dr. one. Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate. We got the Funkon sticker. Just the, the gleam off his helmet looks so cool. This is a Justice League. Very awesome pop. The 
Rocketeer. And that's a summer convention sticker. So that one is from the shop. That's so cool. From the web. Uh, and the Rocketeer, the back is really cool because yeah. it's got a picture of the Rocketeer from the movie. And then it's got the little guy. And this one, his actual like mold is him doing like the Rocketeer launch. Yeah. This was by, by the way, one of the hardest Nintendo games ever. I don't remember the point. I just remember it being super frustrating. Oh, interesting. I did not know that it was a Nintendo game. Oh, nice. And this one's for Lindsay. This is Belly Dancer Homer. Super <laughs> cute. Virtual FunCon sticker. Nice. And I like how the face piece is actually like transparent. Oh yeah, it is. That's really cool. All right, what do you got, Lindsay? Oh, Black yes. Black Noir. This one is awesome. I'm a huge fan of the boys. The Black Noir pop looks really cool. The character is so cool in the TV show and I heard it's even crazier in the comics. All right, recently we saw the Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huge fan of the new Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. And here is TDK, and that's the detachable kid, I think is what TDK stands for. But in the comics, he takes his arms off and like hits people with him and stuff. And then in the movie, like he can move his arms through like the air and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and it was funny because it was played by uh, the guy who was in Serenity, which I think is really cool. I don't know. And I love the symbol on his chest is his head with his two arms is like crossbone type thing. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't see that. But TDK, very fun character. Oh. Oh, yes. A Batman. nice Batman pop. I like that. So that's Batman with the Sith. And that is really cool looking. Now there are tons of Batman pops. So many Batman pops. So not sure how this is going to do secondary market. However, there are tons of Batman fans. In fact, Lindsay, what's my first pop ever? Batman. Batman number one. The one for me. Kronk. Kronk, the virtual Funcon sticker. So now I have the shared sticker as well as the virtual Funcon sticker oh, one. Oh, I'm so sorry because he got boo-booed on the side. <laughs> up by the pop, there's a little crease up there. And it's funny because each one that I'm like genuinely excited about has been damaged. Every single one. It's like they knew the ones that you'd be excited about. Yeah, there's a couple that like I was really happy about Black Noir, but we'll find out later that it's all messed up. Lindsay's second to last one. Oh yes, Mooby. So this is Jay and Silent Bob. And this is in a bunch of their movies. Mm -hmm. It's in Jan Saw Bob Strike Back. It's in Dogma. I think Dogma is the best like movie scene ever. You know I that one. Know. That's one where they, they go on the computer and they, they write to everybody. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? No. One of the most anticipated for this con is Blade. Boop, boop. That was one of the first really well done and well received comic book movies. Uh, really awesome. Wesley Snipes was in it, and I loved each of those. And Blade is awesome, and like his jacket is like metallic shiny. Oh yeah, I can see. Yeah, it. I don't know if it's metallic, but it's shiny. The swords look amazing. I like it. His sunglasses are just sitting on his face. Really cool. Really cool. Hey, they didn't give us Stanley. I was gonna say my my favorite one, my last one is one of my favorites, and then I was like, but Leslie and Stanley were in here. Stanley's not in here. So quality control has been awful at Funko, apparently. Yeah, we don't like talking too much bad, but it, a mean, lot of these are damaged really bad. And, and not from shipping. And we got the wrong Funko, and we're missing a Funko. And no. that we're not the only people that have been getting wrong Funkos, so. That but, one's awesome, though. Snaxy the Seal, uh, this one's really adorable. Another summer convention sticker. I do like that which one. Which is funny, because this one, I think, is like still on the website. It might be, Let's but just look try how to cute it more. is. I love it. Lindsay likes seals a lot. I do. Seals and sea lions, because we generally don't know the difference. I don't know the difference. <laughs> I knew the difference at one point, and I forgot. So one thing we're going to do before we get out of here is we're going to go through and look at what we ordered versus what we got and make sure that's not the only thing we're missing. Yeah, uh, you know, it's sad because I didn't buy Stanley at GameStop because we ordered Stanley. So. Yeah, we missed a couple, just like Leslie Nope, right? We passed it up because we wanted to wait for this to come in and get the actual official sticker. Yeah. All right, let's get these off the table and figure out what happened. All right, so a correction. Funko did not forget to mail Stanley. Yeah, we somehow missed him. But Funko did forget to mail us a pop. They did. So we're missing Crash Bandicoot. Yep. So we ordered Crash Bandicoot, we didn't get him. We didn't order two Star Girls. We got two Star Girls. So we did order one of those. So that's a pretty good swap, I would say. Uh, yeah, I said so too. 
Uh, I don't know if we'll get a hold of Funko because that's, you know, one for one is fair for them. Uh, we are going to have to go get a Stanley, Stanley though. However, here's all our Funko Web Funkos. And I really don't think it's a 50-50 shot if you have the lotto. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel like they say it is, but all of these are the shared uh, stickers. And I believe that's been the way it's been for every con for us. Yeah. If we get the con, like the lotto, yeah, we only get the shared stickers. And if we get the other one, then it's a 50-50 shot. Yep. So not sure. But either way, a lot of fun in all of these. Yes. A lot of pops. I'm sorry for somehow I didn't click Stanley. Uh, That's okay. There was also a problem with that because I clicked on everything to add to my cart and then I went to click on one and the screen shifted like you know when an ad pops up oh. and the screen shifted I went to click add the cart and it clicked on the picture. So I went to that picture and I was like no when I went back my entire cart was empty Yep. and I had to do it again. So this it was a frustrating day that day. It was. Are you ready to open Thor? Yeah we got open Thor. It's the last thing we got to do for this video. All right. All right. The chase on this is a black light which is amazing. And we really like the black light ones. We're glad that the Alice in Wonderland ones. Stickers on the outside. We're all black light, whether it was Chase or not. So yeah. getting the not Chase was still really cool. And remember, what's our luck with Chases? Uh, we don't get them. We have horrible luck. Now, we did have we great did luck when we luck. opened like 20 to 30 of them. Yeah. Don't look, Mike Richard. Oh, I can't look? No. It's going to be a surprise for both of us. Okay. We got the common. We got the common. I figured that. One in six chance is not very great for us. No, but that's a cool one. But very cool classic looking Thor with all of it. Mjolnir, his cape, his, uh, the chest armor, and then his classic like Norse helmet, which is really cool. As we're putting all this away, we do have some crazy boxes coming up. We do. We have something crazy coming up from Funko Kings. Mm -hmm. We have a Pop King Paul Whatnot box and a Professor Josh Whatnot box. So that's pretty cool mystery boxes. We're going to do Epic Collectibles vs. Mystery Grail. Mm -hmm. And I think we have something else. Some spastic boxes. Some spastic boxes, hoping to get a $2,000 Sully Pop. That would be awesome. All right, let's get Thor back in his, his body bag here. And we also have, and it hasn't shown up yet, because we're really excited. We have our Freddy Fun Days box coming. Oh man, yeah, our second part. We haven't even opened Shit. the first part because we're saving it for the second part. We're doing one whole video of that. And we're trying our hardest not to see any Freddy Funkos online, which by the way is the hardest thing in the world. It really is. So hopefully that gets here right now. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. All right, so there you go. $600 in the virtual Funkon that Funko had. And there are some really cool things in this Funkon. There are. However, we missed, the, missed one. We got an extra one. Pretty good trade though. We're gonna have to go out and get uh, Stanley now that I missed it. Crash Bandicoot, I think we'll just let go. Yeah. I think it's a fair trade with Funko. We're not trying to ask too much. And, uh, but man, some really good ones in this. Yeah, I agree. So thank you Funko for shipping this. It mostly got here in a great condition, minus some little bumps and bruises that happened before shipping. And thank you for the extra Stargirl. That's gonna come in handy. And thank you for that Captain America, probably my favorite one from this con. Yeah. Like not seeing it in person, it's probably my favorite one from the con. Let us know in the comments below what your guys' favorite from this con was. And thank you guys for watching. This is Grown Kids TV. We'll see you later.